Luma Labs have just released Ray 3, and this has to be one of the greatest improvements in AI videos. It is changing how everyone looks at AI videos, from something people create for fun to something that can rival billion dollar movies. And today, I am going to show you how to use this AI model for completely free. But first, let me tell you why you absolutely need to use the, the Ray 3 video model. The thing about Ray 3 is that it can create videos in studio quality HDR, which means AI videos now have the same quality as professional scenes created by actual movie producers. Ray 3 is also really good at cinematic scenes with fast movement. Whereas with other AI models like VO3, if you try to create a scene with fast movement, most likely it won't be able to generate the movement you want, or it will distort the motion and the characters so much that the video becomes unwatchable. But with Ray 3, all those problems are fixed, and you can finally use it in your AI films or product shorts without spending a lot of money on credits and still get the results you want. But before I reveal the method, I have a gift for you. I have set up a bot that will verify if you watch this entire video, liked, subscribed, and left a positive comment. And if you do that, it will automatically send you a private PDF with my personal list of the best free AI tools that most people don't know about. Now let me show you how to use Ray 3 for completely free. First, you need to search the text Dream Machine Luma AI, and it will take you to another official website of Luma AI where they let users test out and try their new AI model for free. If you click on this link, you will be taken to a website. And I have to tell you, this website is absolutely beautiful and the animations are really good. From here, just click on the Try Now button to enter the web page where you can try out Ray 3. The interface looks something like this. There are three options here boards, ideas, and editor. If you click on ideas, you will be able to see all the images you have generated with Luma Labs. And here you can actually use the new Ray 3 model for free. To use Ray 3, you first need to generate an image. For example, I'm going to create an image of a medieval knight on a horse and then run the prompt. It seems there is a problem generating the images right now. To fix it, you can go to boards and then click on keyframes with Ray 3. After clicking keyframes with Ray 3, you will also be able to use Ray 3, but on boards the video generation is a little bit slower. So if the ideas section does not work for you, as it isn't working for me, then you can go to boards and click keyframes. Now let me generate an image of a cat. As you can see, the AI model has started generating images. These are the four images the image model has generated. And from these images, we can create the videos. The four images here are really cool. And the image generator is also really good with no watermark. So you can download these images if you want from here. I think I'm going to turn this specific image into a video because I really like this image of a cat. To turn this image into a video, we are going to click on the option Make Video. After clicking the Make Video option, you can describe the camera or action of the scene in this prompt box, add an end frame, or just let the AI choose the motion automatically if you click without giving a prompt or an end frame. For this, I am going to write a simple prompt of the cat running. The prompt I am giving the AI model is the cat running. Let's see what kind of video it generates. Ray 3 has started to generate, and this is the video it has created. As you can see, the video looks quite cool. The best part is that you are able to create these high movement scenes without any visible distortion of the main character. As I told you, this AI model is really good with fast movement scenes. I can tell you that you won't be able to generate a video like this with VO3 or any other AI model right now. Let's create another video here. This time I'm going to ask the AI model to create an image of an anime character riding a bike. Let's run this prompt and see what kind of image the image model generates. These are the four pictures the image model has generated. As you can see, the first three pictures are not that good, but I, I really like the third picture. Still, I think I can get a better generation if I rerun the prompt. So I am going to copy the prompt from here and then paste it again to see what kind of images the AI model makes this time. This time, these are the four images the image model has created, and I really like this image. This is the image I imagined. I am going to make a video from this image and see how good this model really is at creating videos from anime-like scenes. This time I am not going to give a prompt to the AI model, since Ray 3 is supposed to be a reasoning video model. It should be able to create a really good video from the image only because it is supposed to be a reasoning video model, so it can figure out what kind of movement the character should have in this video. It has started the draft and is automatically improving the video, so it will be able to create a really good video. This is the video the AI model has created. As you can see, the scene looks amazing and the movement 
is pretty much anime-like. If I did not know this was a video created by an AI model, I would not be able to tell it apart from an actual professional animation. I would think it was created by a professional animator. This video was quite good and shows that Ray 3 is the new king of AI video models. This is the prompt I'm giving the AI model to create a product shot. The imaginary product here is a designer bag floating on a table. Let's see what kind of images the AI model generates. These are the four images the image model has generated, and every image looks really cool and high quality. I'm starting to think the image model here does not get enough coverage because it is on par with leading models like ChatGPT, ImageGen or Seadream 4. This image generator deserves more recognition because it is really fast and completely free. This time I'm going to generate a video from this image. I'll click make a video and just for fun add an end frame to the video. I'll add this picture as the end frame and see what kind of video the Ray 3 AI model creates. Using this workflow you can automatically create amazing product shorts for your own products, then upload those videos on YouTube or other platforms to get lots of views and make money. These kinds of product videos often go viral. Now this is the video Ray 3 has created and as you can see it looks really cool. If you had two designer bags this video would look truly professional and could be used in real professional projects. You can also use this workflow to create ads for other companies for free and charge them, thereby making a huge amount of money. Now I'm going to show you another feature of this AI model, which is that you can upload your own images. I'm going to upload this picture of a beaver eating a monster drink. I don't need to give any prompt because this is a reasoning model and it will figure it out automatically. You can also change the product in the beaver's hand to your own product or another company's product. As you can see, this AI model is really good at product marketing. The video of the beaver drinking the monster was realistic and quite good with no distortions. Now, I want to do another test where I'm going to see how good this AI model is at creating fight scenes. The prompt I'm giving the AI model is two men in a fist fight. Let's see what kind of video Ray 3 generates. Another thing is that you can automatically start generating videos from Ray 3 without generating an image first, but that is more risky because Ray 3 is a video model, not an image model. Most of the time, the videos are going to be of mediocre quality because they are not starting from a high quality image. So I recommend that you first generate images here or upload your own images. Most of the time it is going to be a mediocre video, but let's see what kind of video Ray3 creates this time. This is the video that Ray3 has created, and as you can see, this video was actually quite good. I really did not expect Ray3 to create such a good video. As you can see, the distortions in this video are really low, the camera movement is amazing, and the physics here is really good, like the splashing of the food, which looks great. This video generation was quite good, but I think it would be much better if we started with an image. Now let's try to create another fight scene with Ray 3 directly. I'm not going to create images first this time because here the videos are completely free. Another thing is that you can generate videos in all aspect ratios, from YouTube Shorts to YouTube Landscape, and choose between these other ratios, which is really good. You can't even do this on the official website of VO3. So this AI model, as I have said before, is much better than VO3. Now let's create this video of a man fighting a dragon. I'm going to run the prompt right now, and let's see what kind of video the AI model generates. This is the video the AI model has created. As you can see, it looks quite good, and I really like the art style. The movements of the characters are actually very natural, and something I would expect to see in a good movie. I can confidently say that Ray 3 and AI video models like this are going to be the future of filmmaking and content creation. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.